Should you even waste your time hunting deer in the rain? Most guys, when it's raining outside, they're just going to maybe grab some hot coffee, maybe a bowl of chili, wrap up in a warm blanket, put their feet up, maybe flip on some old reruns of The Price is Right, R.I.P. Bob Barker, and just decide to sit this one out until the rain clears because the deer aren't moving anyway, right? Well, some of the most experienced hunters will tell you that they have seen and shot some of their biggest bucks during and around rain events. So, how do we hunt deer in the rain? So, the first thing we want to cover is gear, of course. If you're going to be hunting out in the rain, you're going to get wet. So, you want to make sure you have some good waterproof gear, but you also want to make sure that that waterproof gear is breathable because... If you're out there sweating, you are going to be more stinky. The deer are going to be more likely to smell you. And even though the rain can cut down on scent, we'll talk about that later in this video, you do want to make sure that this is breathable, that you are really staying dry, but also not sweating underneath all of that rain gear. So there's a few ways we can do this. Obviously, the gear you choose yourself, there's a ton of gear out there, but when it's raining out you're most likely going to get wet on the walk in and the walk out more so than you should be getting wet on the stand or in the blind and that brings me to you should be focused on hunting blinds during a rain event if it is raining because you're going to stay dry now i build all of my own blinds out of plywood and two by fours but i always make sure to spray flex seal on the roof of them so that they are completely dry inside I will even put like a little soffit over the edge of where the window is so that rain doesn't like come in the window either. So, and then that top of that little soffit gets some flex seal on there as well, just to keep them waterproof during these big rain events because we do sit during the rain sometimes. So the other thing is you can use a pop-up blind. Those are waterproof. You can also use any of the other like more expensive prefab blinds that are out there. Those are definitely gonna keep you dry during these sits. Now, if you don't have a blind and you wanna sit in a stand, they do make these screw-in tree stand umbrellas that screw into the tree and then they kind of like wrap around the tree too so that you're not just like pushing rain onto the tree and then it's running down your back. I'll link those down in the description if you guys wanna check those out those are pretty cool or pretty cheap to just keep you dry while you're on the stand and then of course while you're on the stand or in the blind you do want to make sure you're also keeping your bow or your gun dry we don't want to just be worried about ourselves we do really need to be making sure we're keeping our bow and our gun dry so that it functions correctly for us when the moment comes so now that we've got the gear covered, we need to talk about the difference in the type of rain you're getting, if it's a light rain or a heavy rain, and how that affects these hunts. But then we'll also talk later in the video about the timing of the rain and how we should hunt versus the timing of the rain also. So first of all, let's talk about a light rain. Now, a light rain is really not going to change the movement of the deer herd at all. They can tolerate a light rain, a light sleet, whatever. Something that's more of just like a gradual, less than let's say a tenth of an inch rain per hour. If you guys aren't aware, I really do love using Weather Underground. They will tell you how much rain you're supposed to get each hour and each day, not just that there's a percentage chance that it will rain. So a lot of times you'll see the other weather apps will tell you that you have say an 80% chance of rain, but then you go check on Weather Underground and they're gonna tell you that you're gonna get like one one hundredth of an inch of rain that hour which is really nothing at all so you really do want to go check to see if this is going to be a light rain or a heavy rain like I said if we're only getting less than a tenth of an inch per hour that is not that much rain at all it's really not going to affect how the deer herd moves in that weather they're going to maintain their normal movement habits that you're used to seeing on days when there isn't any rain at all now a heavier rain we're talking we're getting an inch plus rain a day or during a rain event these are the big rain events that are going to make the deer herd change its movement patterns in the deer woods. And so what you're going to see is the deer will go lay down in those thicker bedding areas, especially if we're talking like thunderstorms, 
very powerful winds, things of that nature. Because what's happening during these heavy rainfalls and these big weather events is the deer are losing their senses. So they can't hear because everything in the woods is making noise. It's hard for them to see and pick up on movement because everything in the woods is moving. And then the rain itself is washing scent away very quickly. So it's difficult for them to smell things too. So when you take away their three favorite senses for trying to identify danger in their area they're going to just lay down in their safe secure bedding areas they have enough browse there to kind of feed them through this although one of the things that we're going to talk about later is that they're going to get sick of just browsing on those like woody shrub tips and stuff that are in their bedding areas and that's going to get them moving and we'll talk about that later in this video so now that we know that the deer are going to behave differently depending on how heavy it is raining, the major advantages we have when it's raining is, first of all, everything is all wet, so there aren't any crunchy leaves left in the woods. It's very easy for us to move silently through the woods. Plus, there's so much other noise, like I just said, because of the wind and the rain hitting the leaves and whatever, that the deer just aren't going to be able to hear us. We're also going to get a pass here on movement because, like I said, there's so much movement in the woods that the deer really aren't going to be as keen on picking up on our movement as they would be if we were the only thing moving in the woods when everything else was dead quiet and silent and not moving at all so it is easier for us to get in and out of our stand locations during a rain event and so it is a great idea to take advantage of that when we're trying to hunt in or around a rain event and then of course our scent too so usually when you walk in or out of a stand your scent will linger on that ingress or egress trail for say two to three hours i talk a lot about making sure we really maintain the ways we're getting in and out of our stands we're not brushing up against everything when we walk in because that's how you're really leaving that scent there for a very long time but we are painting scent through the woods on our walk in and walk out but if it's raining that's going to wash away very quickly behind us so just another advantage of using the rain to get in and out of your stand locations now a disadvantage of hunting in the rain is of course that blood trail if we do take a shot we need to be absolutely sure it's going to be a good shot a lot of guys will tell you that they will dial back the distance that they feel safe taking a shot during the rain. They may also only wait for a perfect broadside shot before taking a shot in the rain. And the reason for this is, of course, that blood trail too will wash away very quickly. So if you do take a shot in the rain, it's best to just watch the direction, track more the direction that you can see from your standard blind location and then just give it time. So a lot of guys think, oh, it's raining. I got to get down there quick. I got to track that blood trail as fast as possible. You're much, much better off just waiting and then going out and searching for it much later than you normally would. So you're not going to have a blood trail to follow. You will have a direction of movement to follow. You, of course, know your land. You know where the thick areas, areas of it are. These deer are going to head for a thick cover bedding area or just thick area of cover just walk a grid you'll find them no problem just make sure you're taking those good shots if you do have the advantage of getting like a camera in your stand as well there's a lot of different waterproof cameras out there now now or if you're just in a blind where you can set up a tripod next to you or whatever and actually get a video of where your shot hit that's an excellent way too to know how good your shot really was to know how long you should give it before going to track it when you know you're not going to have a blood trail. So lastly, we want to talk about the timing of our hunts with the rain. So like I said, if it's a heavy rain, these deer are most likely just going to go lay down. I do not recommend hunting in a heavy rain, but I do recommend using a heavy rain to hide your access into your stand so if you can look at the weather and it says that it, this heavy rain is going to end two hours before dark that is the absolute perfect time to get out and hunt but you're going to want to use that heavy rain as cover to get in the stand sit down get dried off a little bit if you can you're not gonna have to worry about too much movement or too much noise coming from the stand or the blind at that time because the deer will still be laying down in their bedding areas but the second that that rain turns off those deer are going to get up and they're going to head for a nice leafy green food source so in a lot of cases this is just going to be egg for you guys 
but it could be food plots, it could be just hardwood regeneration, it could be anything that isn't that woody browse in their bedding areas that they've been forced to munch on the entire time of this rain. So normally I would tell you guys that I love to hunt the backside of cold fronts if that cold front came through I'm going to be in that stand well for the last 10 days to two weeks here in southeastern Wisconsin we've had pretty consistent daytime highs and nighttime lows we haven't had those big like temperature drops and temperature rises come through but what we have had for all of the lack of rain we had all summer we have had major rain events almost every single week over the past couple of weeks and I have been using those to schedule my hunts instead so we have been getting rain events that have been over 24 hours heavy for some period of that but light for other periods of that but what that meant is that deer herd never got a chance to dry out in the woods so as soon as that rain cut off, they bolted, like literally ran to the food sources. I was sitting a couple weeks ago and I had six does just run out onto a hayfield that was adjacent to my food plot and then eventually worked their way over onto my food plot. Like they ran there. It was actually pretty funny to watch. And then again, when I was sitting, I think last week or so, I had, again, same does. You can set your watch by these does if you guys are setting up your habitat correctly. They come running out onto the hayfield again. Work their, they started working their way to the food plot, but I actually had a buck come onto the food plot. Um, he's about a year and a half old eight-pointer. I let him slide, but mostly because I had like a 14-pointer on my property about two years ago. Someone got him. I don't know who. He has been gone for two years, but... There's these two bucks that are brothers that have run together all summer. They're now hard-horned. They are definitely his offspring as far as I can tell just because they're kind of goofy-looking eight-pointers just because they're a year and a half old eight-pointers, and I really want these guys to grow up and see if they really turn into daddy. So I let this guy slide, but it was funny to watch because I have switchgrass planted between the food plot and the hay field. And this buck walks over and they can't see each other because of the switchgrass, but I can see over the top so I can see everything going on. And he goes and he hits that edge of that switchgrass, their heads all snap and look right at him. And he proceeds to go out and chase them around. Now a lot of guys would say that's rut activity. I call that a year and a half old buck not knowing what he's doing. You could call it the pre-rut, but we are definitely in that time of year, and there is a ton of deer movement happening, especially after these big rain events. So get out there after these rain events. Use the rain to slide into the stand so you go undetected. Like I said, I set my watch on these does to come out right before dark every day. These does are bedded down probably 50 yards off the edge of that food plot and that hay field that's adjacent to it. So I need to be very careful slipping in and out of that blind location when I'm hunting and using the rain to do that is a great thing to do. Now the other thing you want to look for while you're like checking out the weather is if there's gonna be a hole in the rain. So if you're looking and it's telling you that it's supposed to rain and then stop and then start raining again and these deer have been getting rained on for a while, go hunt that hole in the rain because the deer are gonna get up try to get some food they're probably if this it's going to depend the time of day so if you're like in the middle of the day they're going to be going for food sources that are more like in the woods so look for like acorns or whatever if you got random like apple trees or little like kill plots or something back in the woods it's a great time to hunt those but they're definitely going to be searching for a secondary food source in that quick little break in the weather before it starts pouring on them again then they're going to head back to those bedding areas again so just kind of watch how the weather is you can also hunt before a rain some people tell you that the deer can like sense that there's weather coming and i don't know if it's the barometric pressure i don't know if it's an old wife's tale but that you will typically see deer go put the food bag on before a big storm comes in so it's also a good idea to get out there before the rain event hunt up until it and then use that rain to cover your egress out of your stands and your blind locations if you guys feel like you got some value out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to go check out that screw-in umbrella for hunting in a stand in the rain, I will leave it down in the description. If you really enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this one. Otherwise, go check out that one. You'll probably enjoy that one too, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.